my son's name is Max and my daughter's name is Morgan, so Maximo. Maximo's, I would say, is not the same old, same old. There's no deep fryer in the equipment. Uh, everything is fresh. When you order a hamburger, the hamburger is made from freshly grown beef. You know, with everybody being more conscious of what they're eating these days and stuff, I'm offering a, an alternative to the regular takeout. Um, I put together a menu of items that you know I've been serving at home for years and fine-tuning. We're not calling ourselves a healthy restaurant, but we have healthier choices. Like we have a lot of salads, a lot of grilled items. So it really, you know, and it's really runs the gambit of, uh, of what a restaurant has to offer. And you know, at the price point, no one's really doing that. I'm personally very gratified in seeing what is what has happened. How this little place is growing. How it's being accepted by the neighbors. I've been doing this for 20 years, you know, I've been working for corporate restaurants for 20 years, everywhere from House of Blues, Hard Rock, Cheesecake Factory, Legal Seafoods. So I figured it was time to kind of strike out on my own. This is something that he always wanted to do, and I'm the father, I'm very happy to see his dreams being realized. Carlos potatoes. A lot of people during the day like to come and just hang out, eat very slowly, check out the people watching out the windows, you know. I got a lot of fans uh, who like my music pictures and her into the music that we're playing, so you know, I just want to make it a very easy place to come and feel comfortable. My wife and I, we enjoy being a part of the community and we really wanted to do something close to home so we could uh, be part of the community in Watertown and hopefully, you know, this concept can transfer to other communities and we can be a part of those communities as well.